right, you guys. Hope everyone's having a good, uh, good Monday today. Kind of give a little bit for everyone to kind of file in. Good evening, good evening. Hope everyone's having a good, good Monday. Hope the lighting's not too bad. Sun's going down and sun angle's getting to where it uh comes in here a little a little more. Lake Erie Ice Fishing. Thanks. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. We uh been doing quite a bit of scouting and stuff for for trips and awesome well yeah i hope i mean how's everyone doing it's been a little while since i've been on live last weather's changed a lot i know that it's uh it's in the 90s here already I'm seeing um, next week, in the next week, it looks like it's gonna be pushing 100. And it's not anything out of the ordinary here in Texas, but it is this early for sure. This is not normal for it to be this hot this early. So I'm trying to take some of these knots out of these jigs I have over here. I have a bad habit of not doing that. 409 Outdoors, good evening. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate you taking the time and being here. The uh, Hayden, is it dock time? Oh yeah, man, it's it's been dock time. I mean, I I think probably about a month now. Um, the fish have been on docks pretty good. There he is, Camo Joe. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks so much for being here. Glad you made it. Texas Outdoors. Did you catch all the crappie in Ray Hubbard? They were nowhere to be found Friday, LOL. Man, I haven't been out to Ray Hubbard in a while, to be honest. Um, I know it's some places to look, man. If it was me, I'd be looking pretty shallow. These fish are not that deep. Um, even though the weather's hot, they're still, some of them are still spawning and they're just getting done spawning. So if it was me, I'd be looking like less than, definitely less than 20 foot. You know, bridges out there always hold a few fish. Um, I definitely check rocks and stuff like that. Cody Sell, what's going on? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, nice, uh, Camo. Yeah, man, that, I know that at work keeps you busy. Um, William C. can have rain and no, no more wind. Yeah, we, uh, at least here in... Here in like the immediate DFW where I live, we uh we don't need any more rain. A lot of lakes around here are high and they're they're draining them, trying to get them brought back down and and all that. So definitely don't think I want any more rain per se. I know we're right on the cusp. A lot of especially my home lake, if it rains a little bit, we're gonna be in some trouble. Dump chump, thanks for being here. How's it going? <laughs> El Nino's got the weather all screwed up, oh, <laughs> that's funny. Thanks for being here, Michael. Uh, Mark Spurgeon, thanks for being here. Hey, let them back home in the great state of Texas. Now let's talk crappie fishing. Awesome, glad to have you back, back home, man. Don Magic, thanks for being here. I'm doing good, man, how about you? Vicky, thanks for being here. Hope you and Fredo are doing well. A1 Fishing, what's going on? Oh no, Cody! Yeah, that traffic's bad. That's one thing. I'm I'm very fortunate. I uh, I work from home, and so I don't have to deal with that traffic anymore. But whew, I remember back when I had to go to the office. It was 
It was not fun. 922, what's happening, everyone? Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Down here, we're concerned about the Gulf heating. We don't need a hurricane. Nope. I was seeing something about that today, uh, 409. They were saying that there's going to be a, I mean, there's a good chance that it's going to be a, um, um, there's a high chance of like more hurricanes than usual, which I believe because it's getting hotter quicker. So unfortunately that, that, uh, that means more, more hurricanes, more bad weather. Cody sell prayers for everyone, uh, involved in the wreck on 20. My car to have is pretty bad and backed up. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, that's, oof, that's tough. Four oh nine. How's the little man and the wife? They're, they're, uh, they're both doing doing great. Um, so we actually recently found out that we got a, we got another little one on the way. Uh, coming in November, so um, Sylvia, she's been she's been not feeling that good. So I really appreciate you asking for it, nine. That means a lot. Sorry, I got an ant over here that's on the boat with me, and it's driving me crazy. Okay, it went the other way. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Thanks, Hayden. Really appreciate it. Yeah, so that's that's I know I touched on it before, but that's so that's why I haven't been having as much time this year. Um, just you know, trying to hold down the fort while while Sylvia's not feeling good. But that's part of it, you know. I mean, that's part of it. But how are you doing, for it? I don't know if I asked you. How are you doing? So I want to say, you guys. So while I have. Uh, a lot on here um, I want to say I made a post you know about about the video slowing down the videos are definitely gonna slow down what's up a one videos are definitely gonna slow down I'm gonna do my best to try and you know sprinkle them in here and there um, it's nothing it's just I'm, I'm really focused kind of transitioning my focus to guide trips and stuff like that so um, I just don't know how much, and I don't really like filming on a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be running trips on. You know, it's just, it just doesn't make sense to do that for me. Um, so I'm going to have to try and think of something outside of the box and try and figure that out. So, um, And so speaking of that, I have a website in the works. Excuse me. I have a website in the works to where you can go on there and book. It you know has all the information about the guide trips that I do. I mean everything from, I mean, there's a whole page of of you know frequently asked questions and a little bit about me and my background, um, some pictures. Um, you can go on there and book. There's a calendar on there that'll show bookings and things like that. So, um, that's uh that's in the works. It's not quite ready yet, but it will be soon. And as soon as it is, I'll definitely put it out there, and you can you guys can go check it out if you want. Um, definitely appreciate that. Cody Sell, with the weather heating up so fast and bait fish blowing everywhere because of the wind, do you suggest sticking to structure or out in open water over? That's a good question, Cody. So, so for me, at least, so I've been, I, I'm just going to say this too. So the, the bite's great on air, on all lakes across the board. The, the post, the fish are finally done for the most part. I mean, there's still, I caught some spawning fish yesterday. Um, and they, um, they're definitely done spawning for the most part. And so it's great because the fish, they're moving out to that, that deeper structure that, I mean, not deeper, but deeper than, than spawning on the bank and they're starting to stack up. And with this heat we got this week and looks like going forward, it's just going to get better and better and better. And there's going to be a point when that water gets really hot, the fish are going to start getting finicky. And I'm gonna switch over to minnows, so, and I'm gonna I'm gonna really, I'm I'm the bite's great. I mean the bite's great on all the lakes that I've been fishing. You know Joe Pool, um, you know Louisville, my home lake. Everything's been great. So, but at least from everywhere that I've been been looking, and I uh, everywhere that I've been checking the fish 
are on structure for the most part, one way or the other. Um, me and actually uh, Ernesto, we, we caught some off of some structure um, on some, really in some shade. I guess shade kind of acts like structure sometimes and we, we did pretty good there. Let's see. Hey Ernesto man, thanks for being here. Get you some mounts and put a camera in back in front. Man, I need to. I definitely need to. I uh, I really I really like the. I need to get eventually. I will, but I need to get like some different different camera stuff, and I think I will this this upcoming fall whenever I get more back into the filming stuff and and try and mix up angles for you guys. I try to do that a little bit here and there as much as I can. Ernesto, front and back. Sorry, I'm driving. I put some cameras on the boat. And with customers' permission, keep the videos coming. Oh yeah, man, and that's another thing too. So I, I could definitely do that. Um, if some some customers, you know, they wanna they they don't mind me rolling the camera, I'll definitely do that and put the videos out for sure. It all depends on you know the the client and how they they wanna how they wanna do that. So Paul catches them all. There he is. Yeah, we're doing great, man. Hope you're doing great as well. You and you and your family. I hope everyone's doing great. 409 working a lot, but I'm going to get on some crappie Saturday. Nice. There you go. They're waiting for you. I know they are. Mark Spurgeon. Kid, my boat will be full of gas in the morning and ready to go. So let's go out and check a new north central Texas lake. Man, I wish I could, but I got to work tomorrow, man. I really appreciate that, though. I hope you get out there and wear them out. And so, speaking on... Uh, just the bite in general. So, you know, as you guys know, I'm I'm going to try and get all this like technical stuff out and you know, all the business stuff out, but so I am running some guide trips. Um I'll be doing I'm going to be jumping around Joe Pool, Grapevine, Louisville, um Ray Roberts. I may end up doing some stuff on Lavon, maybe Ray Hubbard just depends on conditions and And like I said, the, the website's not quite ready. But as soon as it is, I'm going to put that out there. And if you know anyone that's interested, um, definitely send them my way. I'd really appreciate it. You know, just starting out with this with this guiding stuff, it's it's kind of tough to uh, it's kind of tough to to get you know the the clientele going every year. And so any little bit like that, you know, helps helps me a ton. Or share this post or anything like that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm on fish good enough right now on majority of those lakes. I feel pretty comfortable running trips on that. So if you're interested, let me know. I have a lot of, I have mostly weekdays left. I really have only weekdays left this month. Um, and then starting in June, I have basically, I have basically every Friday, I have every Saturday except the 11th. And then I think I have the 1st and 16th as well. So if you're interested, definitely let me know. And uh, you can shoot me an email. Um, my wife, Sylvia, will put that in there. Just anthonyrule at gmail.com. Or you can send me a, um, shoot me a message on the, the Kid Crappie page or anything like that or Instagram, something like that. I'll get back to you. William C., are you running the 93 SV? For your live scope and if so what are your starting numbers when you are on docks william so i actually i actually run the 73 sv and i um so i run my i'd have to think about it but i have my gain on 56 percent, i think um and then i have the tvg off or tgv i forget which it is but i have that turned off and that's really all i have i don't really have any i haven't did the update yet I've kind of held off. I've heard some mixed reviews on that, so I haven't done the update yet, and I don't think I'm going to, to be honest. I have no problems with my unit as far as, like, seeing things good, and I use my unit for a lot more up close and personal than I do out at a distance, and, and so I have no problems with it for now. Wesley Hayes, I saw something I've only seen a few times in my life this past weekend. I saw thousands of brim eating cottonwood seeds and bugs between my dock and the bank. Huh. I would not have guessed that. I 
I, I mean, it makes sense. Huh, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Andy Chase, um, so yeah, I, so I'm, I run some trips out there at Hubbard. If you're interested, um, I, uh, catfish were below them ex as expected, says Wesley. Yeah, for sure. Um, so also my, my buddy, um, Armando Salas also, um, runs some trips out there. He, that, I think that's his home lake if I remember right. So, I mean, I can take you or, or Armando can take you. Um, there's, I believe, no, I think there's some other ones, but I, there, that's, that's really all the, the ones that I could think of, like, you know, offhand. Paul, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Appreciate it, Paul. Really appreciate it, man. Y'all be sure to go check out Paul Catches Them All on, on YouTube. He's got a great channel, does a lot of dock shooting, and y'all know I love some dock shooting, so. Thank you, Chuck. Yeah, we're doing great. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. And so I want to talk about too. So, you know, like I said, the bite's great. Fish are getting post spawn. It's getting hot. And fish are stacking up. So, this is what I've been using to catch these fish with. Um, you can see them. Camo Joe's custom hand ties. I mean, great jigs. I really, I really like feather jigs and especially smaller jigs like this. Like this is, I'm not even sure, this is probably like a one thirty second or maybe even less. But look at the difference in size on these jigs. This jig right here is going to be money. When these shad get done spawning and there's tons of little shad fry everywhere, that's going to mimic a little shad fry like perfectly. And so I really, really, really use these hand ties and smaller hand ties like this a lot from now till roughly, you know, June-ish when those fish start getting really finicky. But if y'all are looking for hand ties, definitely check him out, Camo Joe. Uh, Camo's Custom Hand Ties on Facebook. Be sure to check him out. Tell him Anthony sent you. Great, great guy, makes some great jigs. And these are gonna catch a lot of fish and have been catching a lot of fish from now, um, from now on, really. Andy, so I have not done any dock shooting trips um, dock shooting is something that's pretty hard for most people to understand, especially first time um, doing it. It takes a lot of practice, and usually that first trip is is just tough, and it's more of practicing than catching. So I haven't done any as well. There's not really a lot of dock shooting lakes around here. Um, you know, I dock shoot at Cedar Creek a lot, and just that's so far out there for me, for me to, to, to get a price to where it would justify me going down there doing that. I don't feel like it would be fair to you guys, so... I haven't done it, but I would love to at some point. I really would. Fredo, there he is. Party time, says Fredo. Thanks, man. Thanks for being here. I hope y'all are doing well. Oh, thanks, Mark. Yeah, if y'all can hit that share button, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, Paul catches them all. Camo Joe makes some great jigs, man. I PM him to make me a few already. Nice, man. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. I mean, they're... Great jigs. I mean, look at this one. This one's got snake eyes. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, let's see. Camo, uh, Joe, Camo Joe, man. So I got, I actually haven't, I've been saving them. I, I haven't used them yet, but I've got all the ones that, that you made, man. And so I'm, I'm, it's getting to that time now to where I'm getting ready to start. If another thing too is it's been so windy here. If we can get a day that it's not blowing 40, I definitely, I definitely would like to use these more. But it's been blowing like 30, 40 miles an hour every single day here, and so I have not been able to use these small jigs as much as I'd like. But I'm gonna have to here pretty soon because that's what the fish are gonna be biting are these little jigs like this. Man, they, but the, the normal size jigs, man, have been doing good. Um, like this one right here, I've caught a bunch of fish on this one. Bunch of fish on this one. This one's been pretty good. Um, you know, I, I love these snake eyes on these. They're really cool. Let's see, I'm trying to look at some more. And then these right here, too. I haven't put these to use yet, but, man, I'm about to... I'm about to put these to use too. These little eyes on these are real cool. 
good hook on them. Great stuff, man. Camel Joe driving home now. Going to have to rewind to see. Yeah, man. Be safe driving home, buddy. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, it's been bad, Paul. Television probably needs some more small hand ties, too. Yeah, man, it, it's getting that time. I'm not... I, I know some people use hand ties exclusively. I like to use everything, but I know there's a time and place for hand ties, and that time's right now for me. Um, it's just hard to beat a, a hand tie right now. Um, you, but, you know, you can catch fish on a lot of stuff. But I always feel like you're definitely missing the boat, uh, no pun intended, if, uh, if you don't have quality hand ties in your box. Because I've seen a lot of days when they don't want plastics and you drop a hand tie down there and boom, boom, boom. Just they're more lifelike. You know, those feathers are so much more lifelike in the water than, than plastic and, and you can't beat it. Yeah, Fredo, this wind's been the craziest. It's been bad. Oh, me too, Driller. Thanks for being here. Andy, so he, he ships them to you. Um, he, lives in, uh, he lives in California, if I remember right. Might be kind of hard for him to deliver them. But he ships them, and, and they're real quick and, and quality, so. Let's see, Fredo, man, one of these days. All right. Yep, that's right. 90s equal fish getting on that summer structure. That's right. The hotter, the better. Unfortunately, it means it's going to be hot for us out there on the boat, but the bite's great usually, and that's when I have to jump in the water a couple times a day. It's funny. But, you know, yep. Minnows or hand ties required. Wesley, it's going to be hotter than normal summer and it's going to last till September. Yeah, it's going to be a hot summer. I mean, I don't see any relief in the forecast. We've got those high pressure, um, summer high pressure domes already set in, and so I don't know if it's going to go anywhere. Uh, let me see if, if my wife Sylvia can put the link in there for, for Camo Joe. Camo's custom hand ties on Facebook. He's only on Facebook. All right. But I'm actually out here sweating. It's hot. I can't believe it's this hot already this year. But, um, so again, with the website coming out, that'll be coming out and I'll definitely, you know, put that out there whenever, whenever it's live. And, um, but, um, I got some great things as, as far as like guiding going forward. I have uh, I have some special announcements you can say coming up pretty soon. So definitely be be on the lookout if you're interested or if you're on the bubble about a a trip. Uh, definitely stay stay tuned. And there's something coming up. You'll definitely not want to miss it. Mark Williams started dock shooting a couple weeks ago. I guess I need a limber rod. ACC is fine for it. Today was catching them three foot of water under the docks. Nice, man. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> what's the, probably don't know what the water temp is, but the water is already in the 70s here, Mark. It was 70, upper 60s to lower 70s <clears throat> yesterday, excuse me. You mean if we go on a guided trip with you, we can ride the tube to cool off? Man, I, I, I don't have a tube like that, but I'll, I'll beach the boat and you can hop out and swim for a bit. I mean, that's kind of, it's honestly almost required in the summertime. It's so hot. I have a um, umbrella as well that I've ordered. So when you take a trip, you have some shade out there that can make a big difference. I know from, you know, personally how much that, that shade makes a difference, so. Seventy nine degrees, yeah. I'm. Sh I mean, it's been hot, so I'm sure it's getting up there. And I was, I was main main lake when I saw the upper sixties, the low seventies. So, and this lake, my home lake, is always it's deep and clear and just always late. So it's not surprising it's that much cooler. Man, Paul, I have not. I have not. I uh, just kind of. The website thing kind of came together um, unexpectedly. I have have a, uh, a great guy helping me out with that. Uh, thanks again, Carrie. I really appreciate it. Um, but I uh, have not did anything else with that. But I definitely will try and see what I can do about that in the future. 
just trying to – I think the website's really cool, though. I mean, it's great. Uh, he did such a great job, and I think it's going to really help streamline everything and make things a lot more simple for everyone. Main Lake on Ray Hubbard was 71 Friday. Yep, it's getting there. It's getting there. The 70s and above is when I really – I you know these I know these fish are more committed at that point to going to spawning finishing up spawning and getting out of the the shallows and stuff so but with that being said I caught some yesterday spawning um probably eight foot deep dark males spawning eight foot deep there'll still be a lot that are spawning out deep especially right now oh nice James says he fishes the same lake as Paul that's awesome it's real pretty up there. Y'all got some great water up there and great fish. Great fishing. Chuck Smith, we were having 85 degree weather. You live in Florida, if I remember right, Chuck. Is that right? Florida, I think. Yeah, we have a different heat over here, Chuck. It's, I mean, it's, what is it, May 9th? And, uh, I mean, we're already pushing, pushing 95, 100. It's humid today, too. Like, the last couple of days especially, it's been really, really humid. Yes, Florida. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, it's got some heat down that way, too. Oh, and also, now that I remember, so um, I have added um, Super Thanks, I believe it's called, to the channel. Um, I have not had that before. Um, I put it on there. It's kind of like a Super Chat, but it's for the videos themselves. So if you find yourself wanting to do that, that'd be great. Um, you know, it's just another option for you guys. I don't want I don't want to harp on it too much, but it's there if you if you if you find yourself interested um, It has not been there. I haven't had it and just had it and put it on there. So I think it's pretty cool something different and so That's on every video And goes straight back to the channel as well and then um, You know as always, you know if you if you want to donate to the channel it goes right back to it and it goes right to putting more content out there for you guys. So, you know, you can do Cash App, Super Chat, anything like that. It's totally up to you. I don't like to, to, you know, drill on it too, too much. I don't want to, you know, harp on it the whole live. So just kind of mention it and move on. But it's always appreciated. But... There, that reminds me too. So there are some, there, the shad spawn is still going on as well. Um, I personally haven't been messing with it as much lately, so I don't know how strong it is, but I would assume it's not going to last a lot longer with the, with the heat. I mean, I would think it would force them to kind of finish up their deal too, but I'm not real familiar with that. And as well, I know the catfish are moving up. You can probably go catch the catfish on the rocks right now. And honestly, that's usually what I do. A lot of times I just haven't done it this year, but I might try and do that. If I can get on that, I definitely wouldn't mind getting a catfish bite, get some catfish to fry up. DFW Hookset, what's going on? Y'all be sure to go check him out too. He's got uh, great videos. He does a lot of bass fishing and, and multi-species stuff. Y'all be sure to check him out. I'm doing good, man. How about you? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, Florida's Florida's pretty. I've only been there a couple of times. I think once. No, I think like twice. Yeah, it's beautiful down there. Went to Tampa and then went down to um, Miami and the Keys, Fort Lauderdale, for for our honeymoon. That was that was amazing. It's so beautiful down there. Island hop, you know, we'd just go from one island to the next and just stop, and it was awesome. But, yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to talk about, you guys. I just kind of want to touch base, um, you know, kind of bring you up to date on the guiding stuff and, and get that out of the way and, you know, talk about what I'm doing, what I'm looking for, what I'm using, um, things like that. And the fishing is only going to get better from here on out as far as crappie and stuff goes. I mean, I, like I said, I know it's hot and it's rough out there, but the fish just really stack up, and I'm already seeing it. Uh, my, uh, I, I mean, just yesterday out there checking some stuff, I was I was surprised to see some of the numbers out there that I've seen and some of the size fish. I mean, I was had several that were pushing two pounds, and 
I should have weighed them. I forget I have a scale in here. I should have weighed them. But I was pretty, uh, I was pretty impressed. DFW, uh, Jay uh, was doing all right. Doing all right, just working the night shift. Can't go fishing no more mid-morning. It's getting too hot. Oh, man, yeah, that night shift's tough. My hat's off to you, man. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know how I, if I could do that. Little man keeps me up enough, and I'm like, I tell I tell Sylvia all the time, I'm like, I'm stumbling through the woods, you know, <laughs> trying to fish because I'm so tired, but it's it's funny. Yeah, I'm sure they're, the shad are going crazy at night too, uh, television pilot. Paul, if the Mavs win this series, me and Fredo will get free stickers. I will gladly give y'all free stickers if, the, if we pull this off. I'm pretty impressed. I After those first two games, just the fight that I saw, I didn't think that they would uh, – I, I didn't think we tied up, to be honest. So I'm impressed. I'm, I mean, I'm always rooting for the Mavs. I just know that we, we have a lot of things to work on. And, you know, we, we need to get back to, to at least going far in the playoffs. <clears throat> yeah, due date's November 4th, uh, 409. Thank you so much, Fredo, man. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you and, and Vicky so much. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Chad Spawn's still going strong on south end of the lakes. It'll be pretty much over by this weekend, says Texas Outdoors. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, too. I haven't really looked at all for it, so I, uh, I really don't know as far as what it is over here. Sorry, I'm going to bring this a little closer. Let's see, Chuck. Chuck Smith, no half bad, haven't fished a while to health. I live on a... 3,855 acre lake, average depth 10 foot. Man, Chuck, sorry to hear about your health, uh, man. I hope it's getting better, but that's awesome. You live on that lake, 10 foot deep. Man, that's, that's crazy. Our, our lakes here are 50 to 100 foot deep, depending on which one, and it's crazy. No sweet, that's right, television pilot. That's right, man. Yeah, Sylvia's been really, really sick, and and nauseous we don't yet paul we don't have any names or know the gender or anything yet hopefully real soon we'll know the gender and we'll be able to to pick some names out dfw j yeah i work 12 hour shifts bud i don't even go to sleep on my last shift so i can go fishing in the morning man that's dedication man i like i said my hat's off to you man i couldn't do that no way i couldn't do that Thanks, Fredo. Thanks, Earl. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, y'all. James Spears. I, I have never fished Cleburne Lake. I've wanted to, but I haven't done it yet. I'm definitely planning to one day. Hey, Paul, you'll never notice how many people you don't like until you start picking out names. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, we're we're excited. I mean, we 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 really want to know the gender. That way, we can kind of start, you know, going from there. We'll have like a sense of direction, so to speak. So, no fish in Cleburne. They they uh they had a, a fish kill out there. I think. Chuck Smith, that's Florida Lakes. They white cap, so easy. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, they. I can see them being white capping real quick with it being shallow. Jay, I'm from South Florida. Didn't do bass fishing back home a lot. Didn't do crappie fishing back home a lot of bass and cat fishing. I didn't fish for crappie talk over here to Texas. Oh, nice, man. I didn't know that. Lake Okeechobee, man. Yeah, that's... That's the bass capital over there. Yeah, crappie's pretty big over here. Bass is too, you know, to to an extent, but. Yeah, that's awesome. It's it's beautiful down there, South Florida. 
wish we wish we could go that go there more often than we than we have but with time you know with time that wind is ripping out here well yeah i mean i don't want to keep everyone too long but that's really all i had uh, just touch base let you know how the bike's been going and kind of chit chat with you guys for a little bit kind of touch base Um, we're just gonna keep keep trucking along with with the fishing and I'm gonna do my best to get some videos put out there pretty quick for you guys <clears throat> excuse me um so really looking forward to that and like I said if you're interested in a trip or if you're on the fence about a trip um, definitely stay tuned have some uh, announcement with that uh, pretty soon I think and uh yeah, thanks again for all the support, you guys. I couldn't be doing any of this without you all. Um, the the guiding, the YouTube, I mean, just any of this is not possible without you guys. And I really, really appreciate it. And I'm super thankful. And I really mean that. Um, and I do enjoy getting on here and talking to you guys. I know, like, with my schedule lately, especially, it's been real hard. But I'm, I'm really, really trying to make an effort and trying to get on here and touch base, especially with me not being able to post as much. I'm going forward, so I want to definitely stay in touch and not lose touch with anyone. So, yeah, for sure, Fredo, for sure, man. No doubt, I appreciate that, man. I got a gnat trying to get in my eye. Oh man, I appreciate it, Jay. Thanks so much. I enjoy your videos as well, man. You you have a good one and take care, buddy. So y'all stay safe out there if you venture out on the lakes with that wind. Y'all stay safe. Wear your life jackets. Wear sunscreen. Um, you know, sunscreen, I can't stress it enough, you guys. You don't want to mess around getting anything later in life. Um, that's why you always see me with sunscreen caked all over my face and everywhere. So um, definitely don't want to take that sun for granted. And wear your life jacket out there. You just never know you're going to hit that right wave and... You know, it just, it only takes one, one split second. So, but anyway, you know, thanks again for the support. Hopefully I see you guys out there on the water and thanks so much for, for the support. Definitely be in touch. Y'all be on the lookout for some videos coming out soon. Hopefully I'm going to try my best to get that stuff taken care of and get that out for you guys. And yeah, I'm going to be on the water as much as I can. So. Again, if y'all could, you know, share the video, share, you know, send anyone that you know that might want, want a guide trip or anything like that, send them my way. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. Fredo, I'll try to do better on my sunscreen this year. Yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I get it. Like, sometimes I forget it, and, like, I wear my hat, so, like, a lot of times my face is covered anyway, but... Like if I'm fishing in a certain angle on the on the sun, it'll like burn one side or the other, and I try my best. I really do. I wear long sleeves. I don't ever take my shirt off. I don't want. First of all, I don't want to scare no one, and then second of all, I don't want to get more sun exposure all over me, where I, especially places like my back where I can't see nothing and stuff like that. So. Yeah, man, you did. Get, I remember you telling me you telling me that. Yeah, it's. It's sneaky. I uh, some days, especially when it's cooler, or you know, it, it's like it's deceiving. You wouldn't think you'd get burned, but I do that, and I come back, and I'm cooked, and I'm like, how on earth did I get that cooked? But the sun's strong this time of year. But yeah, I'm gonna jump off here, you guys. Again, y'all take it easy. Thanks so much for being here. Y'all have a good evening, and y'all stay safe. We'll catch you next time.